Yeah, and here's some artwork I made inspired by Russell Wilson. I'm not quite sure what I want to call it. I just know that the muse of it all is shit. I don't know if I want to call it shitty pebbles. The shittification of Russell Wilson. Uh, I think that's that's a good one. Right. Beans and shit. By Campbell Soup. I don't know what I want to call it, but I'm, I'm going to settle on a name and it's going to be something, something shit. Right. Because that's what he is. Now, you know, you know who isn't shit. Can I tell you? It's the guy who negotiated the contract for Russell Wilson. This agent that he has that has made that has negotiated a contract that's so, you know, huge that he is basically unbenchable. Like I've I've never seen anything like this. Have any of you were well, quarterbacks, you know, for damn near two weeks out of the season? throws under a hundred yards and isn't benched. Even Bill Belichick benched that boy, um, that quarterback he had. He benched he, Bill Belichick had, had enough of that shit. Set his ass down, right? But not this dude. Whatever kind of contract dude negotiated for him, he needs to negotiate world peace. He needs to negotiate, you know, to get the devil out of our life. He needs to negotiate, you know, bringing, bringing calm and love to the world because this dude negotiated a contract that makes him makes Russell Wilson basically unbenchable. And I've never seen a dude who was unbenchable, but we're watching it. We're seeing it in real time. What the fuck is going on with Sean Payton? And I don't feel sorry for him because you should have stayed your ass at the sinks. You know, you didn't have these problems at the sinks. But you took one look at Winston and you just hauled ass on out, you know. I told you Winston was blind at Florida State. Y'all didn't listen to me. Always listen to me. I know these people. And this boy hasn't been really, in my opinion, you know, when he threw that interception in that Super Bowl. I knew then that there was something shitty about this dude. The only difference is now I can create my own artwork, right? As a, as therapy, as a coping mechanism to really, to get my feelings out. So that's what this is. That's what y'all looking at. I'm coping. Okay. And yeah, I lost money on this motherfucker. <laughs> You know I did. You know I did. For me to be ranting like this about one guy this morning, you already know I had a boy. I had a, a crazy horse ticket. I call it a crazy horse because that shit had it has so many legs on it. And his ass got out the barn. And I'm like, oh, my God, this thing could actually hit. It was one of those 78 cents tickets where you just throw everything in this shit like a gumbo pot from hell. You just throw everything in there. And if it hit, it hit. You know, you had 78 cents left. Guys, that shit was 11 legs for $5,000. And all this pissy pamper ass dude had to do was get 175 yards. That's it. That was five grand. I hit on everything i put that tight end gray in the game right i hit on sudden right i hit on the receiving yards on kansas city running back i hit i, I predicted the exact yards of the quarterback i predicted the exact score of the game and lost that shit to this shitty pebble ass boy right here i'm done I'm done. Not only he need to go sit his ass down, so he need to go find him a fucking nursing home and take a nap in it. Go find your ass and go check yourself into a nursing home, right? A 
old folks facility and don't leave. We ought to put a cop outside of the, the, the nursing home and say, if he bring his ass outside of that nursing home, shoot him in the stomach. <laughs> shoot that bitch in his stomach. I don't shoot him in the stomach because fuck, he fucked up enough. Just, just, we got to just get him out of our life, you know, because this dude is bad for sports. He is bad because whatever is going on, Sean Payton can't bench him. And whenever you have an asshole who can't be benched, you get the kind of performance he got right now. Yeah, he cost me money. Yeah. And fuck Russell Wilson. Not his wife, though.